Happy Monday. I'm back to my normal day. I don't know if that's going to change or not. I'm thinking about changing it to Wednesday, but we'll see what happens and I will keep you posted on that. Um, my weight loss for this week was the same. Um, I did everything the same. I've been eating tons of yogurt. Um, I just, I guess my body is pretty much happy with this weight right now. So I'm just going to go with it. It's not depressing. It's not upsetting. Again, I'm happy in my clothes. I don't, you know, I don't feel that urgency to, oh my God, I need to lose weight fast or anything like that. And you'll notice that once you get to this point. So, um, last week I had shared some things, um, about how to, what was it? I shared like 10 things. This week I'm going to share, I'm going to share 10 reasons to keep a journal. And if you don't keep a journal, it's so very important even if it's just for your food. So, number one, it keeps you accountable. Two, it keeps you focused on your habits. Three, it makes your goal seem more real. Because once you put it on paper, it's like it's down there, it's written down. You know that you have to take care of it. Um, then you can also, number four, you can see what really works and it helps you when things don't work it keeps you serious and number seven it helps you keep track of your food helps you keep track of your workouts helps you track your progress and it helps you track your motivation I write all my motivation in my journal, why am I motivated, what is keeping me motivated, and next week I will share some of those things, what keeps me motivated, because I think motivation is key to the whole thing, the whole thing. Uh, of course, you got to find the right you know, program and things like that, but motivation is key. So I will be sharing that next week, and now I'm going to dive right into my food finds. Um, it was a struggle this week. We had blizzard-like snow. We had messy roads. It was hard to get out, but I managed to get out to get some food finds because I love you guys so much. And, of course, I don't want to disappoint you. So, I um, found some <clears throat> pretty cool things. The first thing I'm going to show is probably the lowest point um, popcorn I've ever found. And that is this. It's called Go Light. And it's made by, what is that? Here we go. It doesn't say, but it's gluten free. It's got Himalayan salt. It's got um, coconut oil, healthy, 37 calories per cup. So you can have three and a half cups of this popcorn for three points. That is less than any popcorn I've ever seen. So, um, this is an oldie but a goodie, and the reason why I'm showing it is because this one, oh, sorry, the calories on the popcorn is 130 calories for three and a half cups. Uh, I'm showing this one because they've revamped, I guess, their flat outs, and they've made them softer and more tasty. This is half the calories and half the carbs. It is 100 calories, as you can see, and it is three points. They're so much softer. This is 100% whole wheat. I don't buy white bread at all. I only buy whole wheat items. 
So that is that. Even my son, whole wheat. Next, I finally found these. I was searching for these for a long time. This is the Angie's Chicka Pop. And let's try to get the lighting right here. Um, these are amazing. I've only had them in the big bag, but I've wanted them in the small bags because, of course, I have it upside down. Of course, um, you, you want to have that control. And every package contains two cups, and each package is four points. Now this flavor, and I did have it the right way, but this flavor is sweet and salty kettle corn. I love kettle corn because you get your sweet and you get your salty. So that is, I think 70, what is it? It's 140 calories for the entire bag. For half the, for half the bag, it's 70 calories. So, but for the whole bag, it's 40, four, 40 points, four points, which is not bad at all for a nighttime snack. That definitely would be a nighttime snack for me. Next, I found these, super excited. They're coming out with quinoa. This is quinoa bars. They are almond and peanuts and real fruit pieces. They're made by Quaker and they are 150 calories and four points. So they call these raising the bar because the quinoa, if you don't know, is so good for you. And um, I've been using it in everything. So this is yogurt. You see the bottom there, there's like a, a sliver of yogurt. It almost tastes like white chocolate. These are really good, I have to say. For four points, not bad at all. Next find. I did buy this. This is just a normal item. These are Nature's Promise Organic Quick Oats. And I plan on making, I saw a recipe going around about bananas and you, you smush the bananas and then you put in the quick oats and something. So I wanted to make that recipe, so I bought these. Um, this is four points for a half a cup dry, so wet would be um, still four points for one cup. So um, if any of you have made that, the banana cookies with this um, or any quick oats, let me know how it was and what you think about it. So when I go to make it, I am sure that I want to make it. I found another quinoa item popping up from Quaker. And this one is chocolate nut medley. Of course, this one tastes really good. It almost reminds me of like Rice Krispie Treats. But on the bottom there, you see a layer of chocolate. And that is a full layer of chocolate. It is delicious. And this one's 150 calories as well. And four points. This one has peanuts and almonds in it. It has no fruit. So I was happy to find that as a nighttime snack, a nighttime healthy snack. And these are new. These are so filling or so decadent, I guess you could say. These are cookies and cream, fiber one protein bars. And they are 140 calories and four points as well. They are chocolate, chocolate, and chocolate. They're just so chocolatey, and they have a little bit of cookies and cream in them. So they're really good. I got these at Giant. I got everything you see here at Giant Food. So do check them out. Walmart might have some of the same things. Next. I found this, believe it or not, at Staples. Um, this is Cookie Thin Cookie Thins Cake Batter Cookies. 
These are five cookies for four points. And I know I've shown you another flavor, but these are absolutely amazing. They're crispy, they're buttery, they're 140 calories for five cookies is not bad and four points. This is definitely one you want to keep locked up because they are amazing. If you like cake, these are amazing. And I am a cake lover, as you know. And another item that I found, this was a very strange find, but I found this in the organic section. And this is So Delicious Cashew Milk. And it's only 35 calories. And that's for one cup. So that is one point. I think it comes out to one and a half cups for one point. So I thought I would give that a try. I love cashews. Um, there's not many people I know that don't like cashews. So give this a try. You could probably use it in recipes or what have you, but 35 calories for a cup of milk is not too shabby. So I wanted to share that one as well. And that concludes my finds for this week. I hope you enjoyed them. I hope you find some of them. Look at Walmart, um, Target. Most of those stores carry a lot of these things that maybe Giant and ShopRite and Acme also carry. So take a look at, you know, some of those stores because they probably have the same things. And if you have ordered a mug, they are on the way. I, um, all of a sudden I had a burst of orders and I couldn't, by the time I got to the bottom of the box, I was like, oh my God. So I ordered more. They should be here either today or tomorrow. So, um, as soon as I get them, I will be shipping them out priority mail. So again, I love you guys so very much. Hang in there push through. When you feel like you can't do it, you know you can. You know you can. I know that if I can do it, then you can do it too. You've seen my pictures. You've seen how far I've come. And you just have to just say no, walk away, do whatever it is that you have to do to get out of that situation and to put your mind somewhere else so that you're not thinking about food because food should not rule our lives. It's, it, it angers me that um, I've let it in, in the past for so long because it's a shame. And um, anyway, so next week we'll talk about motivation and reasons to stay motivated because again, that's key. So I love you very much and I will see you at next week's weigh-in. Bye-bye. Love you.